veteran defender Rob Page showed he could still find a net with a well-placed volley from David Perkins' corner to give Chesterfield the lead. And another Perkins corner led to the Spyrite second. Mark Allert with a cracking finish to put the hosts two up after 44 minutes. A long ball over the top from the Quakers led to a rare mistake from Lee, racing from his area to chest down the loose ball before being dispossessed. But credit also to Darlington's James Collins, who hooked the ball into the open net from fully 30 yards. Despite that, Chestfield never looked in any danger, and when a long Lee clearance caused problems, Crystal Palace lone man Jalili finished superbly from the left wing, before reviving some 80s moves. Darlington weren't going down without a fight though, and pulled a goal back to make it 3-2 through Jonathan Hogg. With time running out though, it was all over. The Quakers' defence seemed to invite the home side to shoot and it was Bowden who squirmed a shot under the keeper to make it 4-2. Then Darlow's defence totally capitulated and gave the ball to Leicester who squared it to Bowden, who tapped in to complete the route. <laughs> 